Welcome back to Soma. We need to meet the person that we spoke to on the radio in the comm center up here, but it seems to be locked. So, since we can't go there, let's go speak to this robot. Kind of scared to approach it because these I'm worried these arms might like weld my face or something. Hold on, can we turn these off? Seems like we can't turn them off, so let's just try to be careful. What the hell happened to you? What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semkin. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Sarcastic sentient robot. What's wrong with your everything? Are you go diving in sewage or something? Mm hmm. Hello, King. Hello. Are you human? Shit! Did, did my body give it away? I try hard, say the mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look. I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. It thinks it's human. It thinks it's human. Why does it think it's human? Also, I think I'm human. What if I'm not? I haven't seen myself in a mirror or anything, have I? The only mirror I found was broken. Hmm. What the heck is this gonna do? Open the door? Uh, let's see, where does that go? I could use some help! Oh, it goes... goes to it. Uh, is that gonna turn off the power or turn it on? I guess let's find out. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, what did I just do to you? I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Ah, the other connection goes under this door. Shit. I'm sorry, I'll be back. Let's try a different door. Is that Amy, maybe? Oh god, he's dead? He's dead. Been here for a while. Semkin. Is that who the robot said that he was? Oh, I should write that down too. Uh, so, Carl Semkin. ID 0722. I think I need that for the computer. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. 
Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Ah! It sounds like they're talking about security. People would have a hell of a time getting around something. Something that was supposed to, they're trying to seal it off. Why? Seal what off? Control. Flow control? Yeah, flow control. I don't know what that says. Read something something and then everything else is too small. Damn it. Theta, turn around. We sealed Upsilon to keep it working. Don't fuck it up. A. Azaro. Carl was not my fault. Oh, there's Amy. Amy Azaro. Alright. Amy Azaro. Gonna go ahead and write this down. ID 0735. So turn around. I should probably heed that warning. But I'm gonna try anyway. Oh. If that much water is coming through that massive sealed door, then there must be a lot of pressure in there. It's gotta be completely flooded. Oh god, and look at that. I can actually open it. No way in hell am I opening that. Airlock, pressurization hazard. Yeah, I'm not opening that. Okay, I can try the IDs on the computer, but before that, let's go to the third door. Workshop. That's a recording of the same encounter I just heard from Carl, except from the other end. From the attacker. And this is where she zapped it. Right in here. Critical system failure. Please reboot the workstation. Mm-hmm. 
Doesn't seem like there's anything really in here. Can't touch anything. Nope. Don't do that again. Alright, let's try logging in with the IDs. Oh, I didn't try touching this either. What did that do? It sounded like something exploded. Hmm. Alright, let's try logging in as Carl Simkin. Uh, 0722. Wow, I don't even need a password, I just need the ID. That's... uh... strange. That's really, really low security. Because the name tag is just sitting on there for anybody to see. So anybody could just log in? Anybody could just look at someone's badge, look at their ID, log in as them and check their mail? That's really strange. Draft? re, -re Upsilon Auto Process. To Heather Wolchezik. I think I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully. Uh, power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here. Carl. They've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. What does that mean? The factories. Why would they have to seal off the factories, and why would that keep the plant running? Is it that the factories... Something went wrong with the factories, and... and like, the artificial intelligences went out of control? Maybe the factories started just producing more robots or something? After it had been taken over by the robots or something like that? Um... Yeah, and then maybe they've sealed off the factories just to stop the robots from being able to escape. But they wanted to keep the power plant running. So they just sealed off the factories and just kind of left the power plant just running. When I'm, I'm like in the sealed off portion. <laughs> I can send it. I can send the draft. Uh, it's a little bit late, but sure. Oh, can't send it. Link cannot be established. Oh, power manager. Insufficient power. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. Okay, so yeah, there's not enough power to go around. Alright, fair enough. This really reminds me of Alien Isolation. Um, where do I want power to go to? Well, I guess if I give power to the comm center, that's probably going to allow me to open the door, right? And get up to the comm center? So I probably should do that. Uh, but let's do other stuff first. Ooh, list of staff. Let's see where they're at. Theta, 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 Upsilon, Theta, Theta, Upsilon, Theta. Yes, almost everybody had gone to Theta, I guess. It seems like Upsilon was being abandoned. So, Amy, Amy, Amy was a field service technician. Carl Semkin was a wrangler. What the hell's a wrangler? Like, robot wrangler? That's weird. Hmm. Alright, let's log in as Amy Azaro. 0735. Check her mail inbox. From Heather Wool Woolchesik. Epsilon or I keep saying Epsilon. Or I keep wanting to say Epsilon. Upsilon. 
auto process. Good job. Try to get all the backup turbos running and cut production to 60%. With all the evacuations, we can survive on a low and steady hum. No need to strain the system. We should be able to get 20 to 25 years of production before we have to fall back on the turbos. The robots are getting increasingly erratic all over Pathos 2, and unfortunately, there's no universal kill switch. Seeing how we won't return to Upsilon, you could try sealing off sectors to prevent the helpers from getting to the sensitive areas. Yeah, so that is what they were doing. They're trying to get the generators up and working, and then seal off the entirety of Upsilon. Seal off the generators and the robots, just all in the same place. And they sealed off the factory to try to prevent the helpers from getting to the, the power generation stuff. So this place has been sealed off and just left to fester. God, so does that mean they're still at... They're still at Theta? Do you think there's people still at Theta? And if we can escape out of here, we might be okay? Sent. Um... We've managed to link most backup turbos and activate all generators. Upsilon should be able to produce power for at least a decade before we start burning through the flues. The bad news is that the machines are getting worse. We've tried to come up with a way to shut them all down. But considering the insane amount of units at Upsilon, it's not looking good. I'm seriously worried they could disrupt power production when we leave. Ideas? Okay, and that's where the idea came from to seal off the factory, I guess. Same power manager as before, staff is list is the same. Okay. Alright, let's do this. So let's activate the comm center, I guess. Actually, wait a minute. No. No, let's not do the comm center yet. Let's do storage. Because that's just right next to me, right? Yeah. There we go. Fucking hell, those noises. It's so creepy being on an underwater research station. The sounds of pressure just creaking and groaning, and it feels like water's gonna bust in and kill me any second. The CCRV7 black box implant. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly relayed to Pathos 2 Warden Unit, WAU, so the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the auto-injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Also, oh, the Warden Unit, the Pathos 2, Pathos 2's Warden Unit is the WAU. That's what one of the notes back there said. Um, didn't it say don't touch the black goop, like we don't know what its effects may be on the WAU? God, so does that mean... oh man. If we're all in... like, if we're all implanted with these chips, and it's a computer that controls the climate and, like, how to respond to us, and we have rogue sentient AIs, does that mean the AI has access to information about how our body's working and how we're responding and all that stuff? That's not good. That's really not good. Is that one of them right there? That is it, isn't it? Hmm. So do I have one in myself? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Do you know how... do you know how rare this is? Look at this. Do you know how rare it is for games to not just have a simulated scissor that you can pick up and, you know, it's got just simple physics, but it actually has... It actually has, like, a joint. It actually rotates around where, you know, scissors normally rotate. You can actually open and close them. Oh my god, look at that. Snip, 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 snip. Listen to the sound design! It, oh! 
Oh, this is beautiful. I love this pair of scissors. This is freaking beautiful. I'm gonna put you right there. Okay. Anything else in here? I'm kind of deliberately bumping into stuff just to hear the sound. Alright, let's give power to somewhere else. 0735. Let's try flow control. Alright, so it looks like it's only comm center that I need to take off power. So without doing that, I can just do flow control and that's fine. Okay, um, where's flow control? I think it's this way, right? <laughs> that doesn't look good. Read this. We strain the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Hmm. I don't think I want to do that then. Dear God, why do I keep touching those things? Oh, there's glass here. Stop power transfer. I think I already stopped it just by touching that thing. Uh, let's just leave it for now. that I saw before. going back. Okay, so do I need to make it back to the computer system and enable power at the comm station to get up there? How the hell do I get around that thing? isn't it? Jesus, those noises. Yep, it's coming back. Okay, next time it leaves, I'm gonna make my way to the computer system. And I'm gonna enable power for the comm center and see if I can go up. Leave. 
Okay, here we go. just worked. I guess because I turned off enough power or something. It's coming back. Let's get back in here. seconds. There we go. There we go. Then I think it's going to go over there. To kind of like look over the balcony. Yep. Then it should leave. Let's hope this doesn't make tons of noise, and let's hope it doesn't hear it. I think it heard it. But no problem. Shut that. Uh, is this the place with the domed roof? Yeah, this must be the place she was talking about. Uh, where to go meet her. But obviously she's not here. the data detected. Restore files. Partial data recovery. Let's go with the oldest one first. Josie, has Eva come along? We got everything we need to move. But you can't leave the plant without supervision. Adams decided to leave Amy, Asaro, and Carl Sanka to execute the automatization process. And I bet they're thrilled about it. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know we're on schedule and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. I'll pass on the mole check. Josie, lovely morning for an evac, am I right? It will do. I wanted to introduce you to Amy and Carl. They'll be doing the talking as soon as I leave for Theta. Say hello. Hey, Theta. Hello. Hey guys, I'm Peter Strass, King Dispatcher of Theta. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Johnson, you have a safe trip. Hey, hello, Theta? Absalon, what's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, Site Service Engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center. If you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make two. Got you later. Hello? Peter, was it? Yeah, I'm here. What's 
system. We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang hey, on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> good, I like to hear. Are these like save points? <sighs> they always seem to drain the power of whatever they're connected to every time I touch them. What's this? I'm trying to read the text. No, 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 don't do that. There we go. Lisbon, main, offline. That's contact 2103. Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time for impact. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Are we talking about um, a meteor or an asteroid? I'm not sure which is the right one. But are we talking about something, you know, a large rock colliding with Earth? Jonesy. The office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you and Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Is this all around the same time? January 12th? January 10th? January 11th? London? Dear Miss Vigdis, John's daughter. It's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and pass up Pathos 2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. You are a terrific group, and it's with great confidence I say that, where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. Systems Director James Bloom. an auxiliary site. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. <laughs> wow. Wow. So... Is what they were doing down here an attempt to try to prevent whatever was going to happen? And if so, then how how would it help? They were collecting massive amounts of power, I guess, but for what? Those are distances of other bases, other stations. Now I'm in Upsilon, right? And Theta is the closest one. Although Lambda and Delta looks like they're closer. Lambda, Delta, and Omicron seem to be closer than Theta. Okay, I guess let's just enter in the numbers and see if we can contact somebody, I guess. 2201 for Upsilon. Unable to call. Alright, let's call over to Theta. Oh, 
Oh, looks like we need to focus it. something better here. Let's try a different one. Lambda. 2203. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is all so strange. You're telling me. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I? Where should I? Oh, fuck. Underwater? I saw human hands, so I'm I'm not actually a robot. Does that confirm it? That I'm not a robot? Hmm. I don't know, I'm not convinced. How far under are we? Because if we're really far under, then I would need a pretty serious suit to be able to withstand the pressure. Lambda, find the shuttle to Lambda. This has been sealed off. Looks like it's got proximity detecting lights. That's handy. Seem to still be working. Ooh, transport. 
think I need to take a transport ship, right? Well, <laughs> there's nothing here. This one's not sealed. Nah, it doesn't open though. Anything back here? Nah. What was that? There's something in the water. I could see its light. It went away. Auxiliary shuttle. So there's an auxiliary shuttle. some gel around here. So they're feeding off of gel. That's their, their food, their energy. I don't know if that thing would try to kill me if it saw me, but I am not going to take the risk. Sounds like some sort of a some sort of a pump. Nah, I can't do anything with it. It's useless. Oh, we got to go back to it.
Is it a good thing that I just woke that up? Uh, hi. It seems friendly. What are you? That's kind of adorable. That thing's cute. Oh, I think it's following me. It's like my little guard or something. Alright, light my way. Must be one of the like uh, drilling sites or something. Oh shit! Is it? Is it just bashing its head against the metal? It is. Well, it's not paying attention to anything for now, but at any moment, I don't see any reason it couldn't just turn around. God, where the hell even am I anymore? I think I just go this way. This isn't where I came from, is it? That's another one. Jesus, please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. What the hell is that thing? What is that? That, that does not look good. It's another one of those things, just like the stuff that's growing in the ship. It looks like a mixture of man-made and biological. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on, does it not work? Oh. Thank you very much. Well, thanks, little guy. It was rusted shut, it seems like. But what's this stuff? I guess I don't need to mess with it. This thing's been flooded for so long.
Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.